Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Ginfluencers UK. The gin we're trying today is Tapas Tickle Pink Gin by Simon Rimmer. <laughs> Tapas are based in the Wirral Peninsula and have built a reputation for crafting hand quality small batch spirits using premium natural ingredients and local botanicals. Their range presents the rediscovery of a lost style of gin production using a process known as compounding. Oh, compounding. Did you know that? No, I didn't. <laughs> the botanicals used reflect the heritage and natural world around the Wirral Peninsula. And also, here's a fact, they don't use any sugar or colorings or flavorings. And we like that. Yeah. We really like that. Since celebrity chef Simon Rimmer from Sunday Brunch fame joined the Tapas family in 2020, the team have worked hard to create a pink gin that everyone will love. That's, that's, you know, Well, we'll see, we'll see. see. Yeah. Tickle Pink is made with hundreds of hand-picked Provence red rose petals and an abundance of exotic hibiscus flowers. Ooh. An all natural rose hue reflects the traditional method and skillful cold compounding. Oh, wow. It comes in a 70 centiliter bottle with an ABV of 41.5% and costs £39.50. Today, we're making a gin and tonic using premium tonic water and garnish with some rose petals. I was just wondering what made me laugh is are we going to put all those rose petals in it? No. So, right. A lot of people put dried rose petals in and we normally put dried rose buds, but Oscar hates it because he said it's like potpourri. It's like it, drinking potpourri. So I we're gonna be it. using fresh rose I petals. I like fresh all day long. Yeah. And you know what? If you if you're gonna if you're gonna get a premium gin, yeah. right, why, why would you use dehydrated? Why wouldn't you just use fresh? So we'll use one and the rest will go into a vase and we'll enjoy them for a week Aww. or so. So let's crack this one open. Or you could sell them at traffic lights, couldn't you? That's all. As always, as always, we'll be selling it neat first. <laughs> selling it neat, trying it neat first. Selling See, it neat first? Uh, trying it neat first. Wow. Will you stop? Well, I don't want them to go to waste. Free, free, for, a, free for a five, is it? I have no Free idea. bunches for a fiver, I, I don't know. No he just normally does the wind drop and drives off. Um, so, oh, look, it is. Oh, there's a colour to it. That is a real a colour to it. interesting colour there. Look at that. Ooh. I was a little bit concerned when I heard about pink gin because I thought it'd be really, really kind of berry. Uh, so I'm glad the mm. base is floral. It's got a warmth to it. It did. It's got a sweetness and it a sounds, warmth. It smells it really. So I know. Do you know what? I'm messing up today. It smells really um, full bodied. You know all about that. Ooh. Oh. Oh. There's a woo. There's Ooh. a woo. Wow, that is really floral. It is a proper gin, but it's it's not it's not floral in a perfumey way. No, it's floral. It is sweet though. There's a, there's an element of sweetness, and it's sweet. But there's this there's this kind of thing at the back of it that is going. I'm quite sharp. I'm quite a sharp gin. See, I was getting yeah, and yeah, because it it seems really at the first taste, it's really fresh. Right, really floral, fresh, interesting. And then it goes sharp. It, it goes sharp at the back. Yeah. Yeah, the, the palette neat but, for me is going very, very sharp. But then it's now going back. a bit sweet as well. I'll tell you what it is doing though. It's making my mouth tingle. Oh, oh, I need it's more. It's making my mouth tingle. I'm getting a tingly. I, do you know what? I'm getting a real freshness come up, up my nose. I really Ooh. like that taste. Well, let's see what it's like in a tonic. Mm. So, let's give it a try. Cheers, Oscar. Cheers, Scott. Look at that. It does look lovely. It does look lovely with real petals. Do you know what? The real petals make a yeah. world of difference. The smell, lovely smell coming off that. Do you know that is, that's really, really good. So mm. when, when we were cutting for the montage, our, um, our camera operative, he always tries it neat as well. And he was going, oh, it's not what I imagine as a pink gin. 
And it isn't if you're just used to loads and loads of berries and kind of that artificial, overwhelmingly berry flavor. This is on the floral element. It is. And it is and it is slightly bitter. It's, it's floral, it's sharp, it's bitter. It's exactly what a pink gin should be so far. And but not, it's pink. But not, but not overly bitter. But it's actually, it's really pink. It is really pink. Once, I don't know if you can appreciate that. It looks a bit, on the TV there, it looks a bit So browny, once a tonic is with it, 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 go, it actually goes very, very pink. It's pink. Um, it's a, just a hue off that. And that's the thing, when you, you know, traditionally a pink gin is a gin with bitters. Um, but I'm really liking it because I think it's it's gonna it's gonna win over a lot of people because the floral element to it. Um, it's it's a ginny gin, mm. right? It's floral. It definitely it is, is a ginny bitter. Gin. Yep, it is bitter. It's it's what a, a traditional pink gin should be. Yes. Right. And yeah. But with kind of modern elements of being floral. And knowing that it's fresh ingredients that go into it. Yeah. And no sugars. It's brilliant. See, also I think that the way. It will win people round because they go, oh, it's a pink gin, and then be wowed by it because they're not getting kind of artificial things. And they're going, this is this is really really lovely. I mean, Tappers have got a great heritage anyway. We tried their uh, figgy pudding one, their Christmas pudding, um, and we really really liked that. Yeah. That was in one of our Christmas videos. We have all these others of theirs that we haven't tried yet that we will we will do. But you know, I, I think I, I didn't think it would be a bad gin just because. You know, a celebrity chef, Simon Rimmer, he knows about tastes and flavours. Absolutely. He's not going to get something wrong. But also, Tappers are great. Yeah. Great company. And I wonder how long they took to actually nail this recipe, because I, I think it that's, must have taken see, some time. Looking into that, that's the interesting part about these gins, is when you go through the recipe process and, you know, trials and everything, how long did it take? Because that, I think, is a good representation of a pink gin. Also, the fact is that even though it's, yeah, it's got bubbles from, um, from the tonic, it has a slightly effervesc effervescence flavour. It is kind of... Sherbety, tingly. Yeah, I, I I get exactly what you're saying there, and it isn't it isn't the bubbles from the tonic. It no, is, it's the because you could notice it slightly when you had it neat, right? It does. It's sort of sherbet. Was it what is. what, yeah, what, that's what you? I said. Well, yeah, yeah. It's what it, that's that was a good the word I said. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not all right. You know, the world isn't the word isn't your. You don't own that word. Like Not anyone yet. can use that word. They can. Right? They sherbet, can. sherbet, 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 um, sherbet. But anyway, it is, it is it's so irritating. It is, it is sherbet-y. One of um, those days. And it's fizzy. Um, it will work. I, do you know what? I don't think it's even necessarily just a summer gin. And this is a gin, and we don't say it that often, this is a gin that I can drink all the time. As in, mm. any time of the year, but I can have multiple ones of this. I, yeah, absolutely. Um, and you know what? I think it looks good mm. in a glass. Um, and I didn't put the potpourri in because he doesn't like the potpourri. No, the dry, the dry stuff. I'm totally against dehydrated stuff. He really doesn't like it. We really don't whole, like it. We've got a whole drawer of kind we of dehydrated things. We have a cupboard things. full of it. Yeah, a cupboard. Right. Well, I was just, I wasn't trying to be like so extreme. But yeah, we have a cupboard full of kind of dehydrated stuff, and he's not I a think fan of it. If you're going to make, if you're going to make a drink and bother to put a garnish in, at least make it look. Appetizing. When we, did, when we did a rose one before, though, we did use rose buds, and I loved the you rose loved buds because I they loved didn't. the rose because they didn't all clog up in my mouth. He says, you know, we've been to a place before, and it's like it's like they've just gone to their nan's house and mixed some potpourri and just sprinkled it in the glass. You know, the little bowl that's on top of a toilet. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'll get Ooh. some of that. <laughs> put it in. Yeah, we'll put that in. Oh, that looks attractive. Anyway, um, back to this, this yeah. gin. So anyway, good um, representation so far. So it's nice. It's nice and floral. There's some bitter elements to There's it as well. There's a sweetness as well. There's it's sweetness. really, it sort of takes you on a journey. It is fizzy, fizzy on the tongue, fizzy on the palate. It is kind of rich. It lingers as well. It's a very lingering taste, mm. which is which is really, yeah, really no, good. Yeah, uh, absolutely. But each time you 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 come back for a drink, mm. it, it gives you a, fr a different taste, slightly different taste, a, fresh, a, a fresher taste of the original one. I see what you mean. The, the flavour I'm getting sense. from it tastes a bit like, I'm getting a little bit of kind of old fashioned rose from it, as in like old fashioned English rose. They're, they're quite, they're quite musty in flavour. They're kind of quite woody. See, I've always liked flavor. rose, rose flavours and smells. So, yeah, well, so have I. I won't call it musty. I'll call it lovely. No, but I'm not saying you musty as in, as in musty, horrible musty. I'm talking about like a, a must as in, as in like a rich, full, full kind of, flavour and smell. 
Not, okay. not kind of like old. You've got rusty out of that hole. That's fine. <laughs> anyway, um, we need to score it. Yeah, we do. It does look nice though. In the it, I think it looks amazing. The bottles, weirdly, look really small, but there are 70. They always, to me, they seem really, because of the shape of them, they always seem really tiny. Oh, do you know what? A great big one of those would be nice. Like a double size or triple you size. You mean a, a one and a half litre? Yeah, a Magnum. Is that a Magnum? That's an ice cream. <laughs> yeah, that is. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I, yeah I'm, I, I know my score. Let's have another one, Wazer. Running I'm, over. I'm, I'm just checking mine again. Mm. Hold on, you can't. No, no, there you go. Wow. Are we ready? Right, I am. Yeah, I am. Go. That is oh, wow. an easy 11 for me. Okay. It really is, because I think that is one of the better, if not the best, examples of a pink gin. Wow. Yep. Wow. And I'm not a floral type of guy. No. I'm, a, no, I'm very citrus-based. You have based. been won over lately, you know, oh, yeah. since we've been doing this channel, you have been won over I think by I'd, the more floral I'd, side. Yes, absolutely. And that, I think, is a really good, enjoyable gin. I think some of it has got to do, credit to you, the way it's served. Because it comes down to packaging and stuff like that, right? It actually, I think that looks really good in a drink, in, in, in a glass, sorry. In a, and it, subconsciously, I'm liking it more as well. If that had been potpourri yeah. in that, I wouldn't have liked it as right. much. Right, so Tapas, take that on board, and, and Summer Room, take that on board, and uh, serve this like that. That is, and, I mean, um, that, that to me is a pleasant drink. It does look really lovely. I am a gin drinker. Are oh, you? Yeah. I am the demographic you're after. And that, to me, What, is moaning, brilliant. miserable, middle-aged man? <laughs> oh, middle-aged. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, you're not, he's, oh. yeah, he's not middle-aged. Oh, no, you're, that's really nice. You're not going to live to 160. I think 27 was middle-aged. Um, anyway. Um, Shut up. 27? What, stone? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I think, no, no, I'm not going to do my bits because I want to get back he's to my He's not going to do his bits. Because I really am, back I'm enjoying box. this, actually. It really is enjoyable, right? Um, a pink gin. This, yeah, this is this is great. Packaging's brilliant. Serving's brilliant. Well done to you. Thank you very um, much. Great taste. Exactly what a pink gin should be, as in the flavour, not the colour. You know, oh yeah, I want that pink but, gin but because of the colour. Because of the compound. But the colour the is awesome it. as well. Yeah. So it's it's ticking loads of boxes. Yeah. I, if you haven't tried it, I would definitely recommend it. Um, we wasn't let down by the, the Tappers uh, figgy pudding one that we had. Really excited about choosing their others. I'm really really glad I bought this range. Actually, it's it's it really excited me by this Christmas one. I think I, I really do like the entire range. And this this one has excited me. Yep. And I, I I can only imagine you know when they get you know get together with Simon some more and do some other flavours. Well, oh I'm, yes. That'd be really exciting to choose. But... Yeah, no, I agree, I agree. Right, don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment if you tried it, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. 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 Cheers.